Welcome everyone to my predictions, the quickest predictions on YouTube possible and the most accurate of course. Last time when I was doing a predictions video, I did all of them. I don't remember which event was it, I think it was Elimination Chamber, but I nailed all of the matches. So you're welcome and I'm gonna give you a quick forecast of what's gonna happen at WrestleMania. Night one, night two, name it, I don't care because I know it all. So the first match is Io Sky versus Bailey, and the champion is Io Sky. In my opinion, Bailey is gonna win. Uh, what's gonna happen afterwards? It's another story because I'm, as I stated in some of my videos, I'm scared that when Bailey becomes a champion, it's not gonna be interesting ever again. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Next match: Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, and. Am I the only one in the room who thinks that Rhea Ripley is gonna retain? Nah, I'm just kidding, we, we all know that Rhea Ripley is gonna retain. I, I should not even talk about it. Becky Lynch is a main eventer, Rhea Ripley is a main eventer, Rhea Ripley is the most dominant champ ever. One day we will see Jade Cargill versus Rhea Ripley, it's gonna be hype, but Becky Lynch is not the woman that's gonna dethrone mommy. WWE Intercontinental Championship Gunter versus Sami Zayn and boy oh boy I was not sure who is gonna dethrone Gunter I made a video about that but I think that Gunter is gonna retain this Wrestlemania definitely Chad Gable is gonna be the guy who's gonna dethrone Gunter mark my words everyone mark my words Sami Zayn is gonna get close and I even have a suspicion that this match is not the final match. I have a suspicion that something with Chad Gable is gonna happen and it's gonna be a triple threat match, but it doesn't make any sense right now. But trust me, it makes sense in my head and I cannot even explain it. After that, United States Championship match. Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Logan Paul is gonna retain. How? Against two main eventers? They're gonna attack each other and Logan Paul is gonna snuck in there and he's gonna pin. Nothing too fancy, really. I'm wondering though, are they gonna do Stunner into RKO to Logan? Just for the show. And uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see that match, honestly. Logan Paul's matches are really, really, really entertaining. Six pack, pack, Mac ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. The champions. Judgment Day versus DIY, New Day, Miz and Truth, uh, Cat, New Catch Republic, and Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, a tail down under whatever they name is. And in my honest opinion, I say that too many times today, but I think that a team like DIY would be perfect for the opportunity to take the titles because they're the golden boys for the old from the old NXT and I feel they're not credible right now but if the titles are in them maybe they're gonna become credible. Do you guys remember what Champ uh, was doing in NXT whenever he was having Goldie? Johnny Gargano was having an amazing reign as well and he was doing an amazing rivalry with Adam Cole. I feel like there is a lightning in the bottle here and the only good option is to actually DIY win because the titles are gonna help them a lot and they're not gonna ruin the titles as well. The other teams, I'm impartial to the other teams, especially if to, for example, Waller and Austin Theory. These guys are meant to turn on each other and have a fight. Like, it's so expected. The other team that I'm okay winning is New Catch Republic, but I feel like something is off with their new team and maybe they're gonna turn on each other as well. I don't know what's gonna happen. Third option that I'm not gonna be pissed at if it's happening, Judgment Day retaining. They're not dominant right now, but they're not bad as well. So yeah, I just don't see any other team to be okay. The New Day, if they win, it's just gonna be another rain to the New Day and New Day are not very hot right now and I don't see them becoming hot anytime soon. So yeah, that's for the tag team.
match. Another tag team match, blockbuster tag team match, main event tag team match, Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins versus the final boss and the tribal chief. WrestleMania Night 1 main event, in my opinion, The Rock and Roman Reigns will win this match. Because, I said that in the past, it's the ending that no one wants, but it's gonna be so satisfying in the end when Cody Rhodes win against all odds. Otherwise, it's gonna be kinda easy, because we kinda know that Roman is losing against Cody 1v1, or Roman will bring another member of the family that will interfere. I don't know, but for that match, I pick Roman and Rock, and Seth will turn. Let's shoot that. I don't like the idea of Seth turning, but let's shoot at that. Seth is gonna turn. Before the main event, two matches that are a little bit impromptu matches. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. AJ Styles should win this one. I'm sorry, LA Knight. I know you have a heat. I know the crowd is behind you, but AJ Styles needs this victory desperately. If he doesn't have that victory, he's just a sore loser for months now, for years now. So honestly, AJ Styles should win, but because this is a prediction video, my prediction is LA Knight winning. It is what it is, boys and girls. Brother versus brother, but this is not just brother versus brother, everyone. It's twin versus twin. It's a generational match that no one understands the depth of it. It's not just brother versus brother. This is once in a lifetime match. Like, there is no other chance match like this to happen ever again. Jimmy Uso versus Jey Uso. And... Look at this. Listen to me. I don't know who's gonna win. Probably Jay is gonna win. But Jay is gonna go back to the bloodline as well. Which will leave Cody Rhodes all alone. Bloodline rules. And now we are talking about the main event. Roman Reigns versus the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. The match is gonna be bloodline rules. Because as I said on night one, he's gonna lose. Seth is gonna turn on him. Jay is gonna go back to the bloodline. And against all odds, Cody Rhodes is gonna win the title. It's gonna be grueling. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be awful. There are speculations that John Cena will come to help him. Stone Cold will come to help him. I don't believe this, but I believe that Cody will finish the story because otherwise it's a little bit of bullshit because they have said that if he loses, he's not gonna be able to have another crack at the title while Roman is a champ, which means that we cannot have a third part of that saga. If we have a third part, that means that it's a little bit of bullshit. I'm not gonna be pissed off if Roman Reigns wins, but if they didn't say that thing with, he's not gonna have another crack at the title. Cody Rhodes is gonna win, and officially, these are my predictions. For WrestleMania 40, WrestleMania XL, WrestleMania of the WrestleManias. The next big one is gonna be 50. So, I don't know what I want to say, but I wanted to rile you up for WrestleMania. And I'm gonna see you on the other side of WrestleMania when my predictions are 100% true. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bang! And I'm gonna see you next time. Peace!